everybody. A lot of my hunter friends just keep the choice cuts off of their deer and send some of the bigger, tougher ones off to the grinder to be made into burger. And there's nothing wrong with that. Venison burger is delicious. But today, I'm going to show you how to make a really good venison pastrami out of a chunk of deer round that might otherwise end up in the burger pile. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is put together our brine. I've got here a cup of coarse sea salt. That's just what I had on hand. Uh, kosher salt or plain salt will work just fine. I've got a cup of white sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, 42 grams or 8 teaspoons of pink curing salt number one, tablespoon of pickling spice, and five chopped up cloves of garlic. The first thing I'm going to do is put the garlic and the pickling spice into two cups of water, bring it up to a boil, and let it simmer for about 10 minutes to bring out the flavors. While that's going, I've got a gallon of water minus the two cups that I'm using to make the flavored tea over there and I'm gonna dissolve all these into this everything's all dissolved and my strong tea is ready. I'm just gonna add this right in. And full disclosure, I added a few tablespoons of crushed red pepper because I do like things spicy. Now this goes out to completely chill down before I put my meat in it. And that's uh, because I use so much cold water and so little hot water, it's not gonna take very long. While my brine's chilling out, I'm going to trim up my beautiful venison round here. I'm going to trim off as much of the silver skin as I can. Got my venison all trimmed up, and I've got enough brine that I threw a couple of beef roasts in there as well. The uh, brine recipe was good for five pounds of meat, and I actually uh, added a little more to get it up to about seven. So now, all I gotta do is get a vessel big enough to hold everything. Now this gets refrigerated for three days. That'll give that cure enough time to fully penetrate into the meat and do its job. Let's go. Three days in the brine and we're ready to take this to the smoker. What we have right now is corn venison and we could cook this like corned beef, it'd be great. But we're gonna give this the nice spice rub and the smoke that'll make it a pastrami. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take some paper towels or kitchen towel and just try to pat as much of the moisture off of this all the way around as I can. Then I'm going to put this on a rack and put a fan on it for about an hour to get the surface to be kind of tacky and that's going to help our spice rub really stick on here well. The basic spice blend is equal parts black pepper and coriander which I'm going to throw into the coffee grinder and grind up and then for me I like to also add some whole mustard seeds to this and of course some crushed red pepper. You can see we got a very coarse blend here. You'll even see some whole peppercorns in there still and that's exactly what we want. We don't want a real fine powder on there. We want some crunch and some texture to that. Now we just want to get a nice coat of our spice blend on there. Go as light or as heavy as you want. And we're ready to take this to the smoker. I've got my venison around here. 
These are a couple of beef rounds, briskets traditional, but I've used these before and they're great. I'm going to be running 225 to 250 degrees on the smoker using hickory smoke and this should probably take about 4 hours or until I get a core temperature of 150 degrees on these. Let's take a look at how we did. Oh, that's looking real good. Got that deep red color from the cure. Our spice blend is sticking nicely to it. This is going to make some incredible sandwiches. I hope you try this recipe out and I hope you like it. And if you do, please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.